Hi, I'm Heinbach, and it's good to have you back. What I'm playing here is a new sampled instrument I made with G-Force. And it is built from many of the rare synthesizers you see around here. I sampled single notes and G-Force put them on an original Mellotron. Mellotron is a 1960s sampler that is based on tape, so it has a special sonic character, which adds to the sound of this library. If you want to know more about the Mellotron and the technical process behind this library, check out my buddy Alex Ball. He made a library too and a rather fantastic video. But I think he got one thing wrong. Now whilst my channel is probably best known for synthesizers, it's actually acoustic or electric instruments that translate best to the Mellotron. <laughs> Synthesizers sound fantastic on the Mellotron. Sorry Alex, but the winner in this is you, because you get fantastically sampled acoustic instruments in his library mainly, and strange and weird synthesizers in mine, because this is probably the strangest Mellotron library ever made. <laughs> I also assembled a few rare acoustic instruments.
and one very important update to Alex video. You now no longer need the Mtron full suite. You can use the free Mtron Select player that just came out with this library. It is a more basic version of the full player, but if you just want the raw sounds as they came from tape, perfect. One of the first instruments I recorded is the Computer Band 2000 that is in my giant <laughs> Sultan organ. I really always loved the Optigan expansion for the Mtron, where you can play rhythmic passages like this. And there are chords layered over here, so you got your major keys over here, you got your minor keys here and seventh over here. So you can create whole songs with the building blocks from this lovely instrument. I really like the character of this, especially on this beat. This makes me want to sing immediately. It's a lovely tool for writing songs. And I recorded a ballad setting and a space disco setting. I have a beautiful Kruma DS2 in my studio that, like most of my Italian instruments, is slightly broken, but this one in an absolutely beautiful way. The pitch tracking of the polyphonic and monophonic sections of the synthesizer are off, and that results in very beautiful colors. Here you can hear how the mellotron adds a softness to yeah, the pretty strange sound of the broken Kumar. I also sampled my Bechstein piano, but it did so with Gauss, my looping app I made with Bramboss. I recorded note upon note, so it becomes a wash of overtones. That process took forever, but it was worth it because this is one of the lushest sounds I've ever designed. One synthesizer in my studio that I haven't covered yet on the channel is the Insonic Fismo. It's a synthesizer that sounds as beautiful as it looks, but I tried to make it sound a little more broken because it tends to go into new age very quickly. I just think the wave sequencing on it is gorgeous, especially captured on the Mellotron.
The Versi String Orchestra is actually an instrument that replaced the need for the mellotron in many places. For example, when there were string sounds necessary or brass sounds. Cheaper and more reliable alternatives to the mellotron. Of course, no Heinbach instrument would be complete without some test equipment. And that can sound rather lush too. I'm using a setup viewlet and packet wave analyzers. That sweep through a bit of noise and tones from the Juno 60. is such a texturally dense bank where I think everything combines nicely. The beautiful basic sound of the Juno, the amazing modulation that the Ulit Packet Filters does and the tape. I also put the Juno through a wonderful EMS filter bank. The Juno 60 is also here in its original form. I sampled my favorite patch. One of the rare acoustic instruments I sampled is the Hohner Gitarrette, which is a mixture of a kalimba and a guitar and I ran it through a guitar synthesizer because of that to give it a more interesting tone. I also gave the treatment to my Fender Rhodes Mark II. One of the most exciting synthesizers from the former Soviet Union is the Maestro.
The orchestral string patch stems from a rehearsal I had with the symphony orchestra. They were rehearsing a piece I wrote and I managed to capture a moment of that piece on just a little field recorder. And I've been using that on my OP1 forever and you can hear it in many of my Amulet records. And now for the first time it's available to you too. The Zuiko ST50 Poetry Trainer is one of the most beautiful synthesizers or ROM players I've ever played. And these sounds, when transferred onto the Mellotron, gain so much. They just become richer and more pronounced. Those were the raw sounds, but there are many presets in the library that go way beyond what I originally had intended and I'm so happy that so many fantastic sound designers contributed to making this instrument sound as good as possible. The Heinbach Expansion Pack is now available on intro offer and that is £29.99 or $34.99 which is 50% off. It comes with the free Amtron Select player so you don't need the full instrument. But I have to say I bought the Amtron when it came out and I have used it a lot especially in my theater and scoring work. And of course also check out Alex Wonderful Pack. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.